This is 2024 Game of Thrones House of the Dragon Season 1 2 box random serial number 29. We've got all of our names, all 10 names. How many times on the die? Good luck, everybody. Three, the lowest we can go here on the Blaze. One, two, and three. Crunch! Go ahead and put the names over here. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna get this printed and we'll be able to get in to some cards. Last break of the case. We got one more after this. 30 is gonna be the last break of the case. can see me in the reflection of the box. Let's see what we got. 3203 and 733. I want to say the next thing, if it's not more Metal Universe, it's probably going to be Kakawao. Run a filler on Kakawao, get some Disney going again. Yeah, Metal Universe will go from like having eight spots left or 12 spots left. We do a break and then it's sold out, so. Supra's looking for the Doctor Who auto. Wants to see that Matt Smith. Wants to see that whatever his name was in Morbius. Who was he in Morbius? Morbin time. Jason says that he's seeing double. No, sorry, Dweeble. Yeah, I am actually very shocked we have not seen a single auto from Matt Smith. I figured the dual autos would be harder to find. Like, we've seen more Patty. I don't know if Patty's a bigger actor or Matt Smith's a bigger actor. I feel like they're both just very well-renowned actors from that side of the world. But we've seen a handful of Patty. I also want to be selfish and say that Star Wars is probably next. We still got 10 spots left in the two box break of Star Wars Delight. Again, it's Delight, not Hobby. Shorter break. Got the autos. Got the sketches that'll pop up. The whatnot room at Blez H. I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. gonna do this because that's a sleeved card and I don't want I don't know what's in the sleeve I mean, you guys are saying there's like 200 people in the room that's crazy to have and whatnot you guys are making me curious what's going on in there I'm gonna have to watch the recap or something
It's over 100. No, still over 100. Like, a normal, a, a good room and whatnot is usually, like, 40. Are they spinning the wheels? Are they doing the wheel thing that they always do and whatnot? Truly bonkers. I'm also pretty upset that we still have not found a green out of Marvel Metal Universe. I think we're down to the, like, we started a new case. We didn't have a single one on the last one, right? Always on with the daytime DAC. I saw Scott was on there on Wednesday for um, the basketball release. Fifteen to twenty is perfect in a whatnot room. I don't know about that. Yeah, I saw he was doing the basket or the basketball release over there. I still stand. Anything over fifty is like actually extremely busy on whatnot. It's gonna lose his voice. I'm surprised it's not already. It's not at a consistent level of just gone. Small and family like. What you mean, bro? You can have big families. Any, any um, MT racing left? No. No, just the th there's three in IG. That's the last of it. Uh, if there would be any, it's going to be on this wall. around making sure I'm not a liar yeah it's not in the room wait daddy rips is there too I just saw him though I swear to god I just saw daddy rips in the studio here wait Okay, here's the real question. Are they talking about NT right now and whatnot? Because if they are, that pretty much confirms that um, it's somewhere in the Blaz HQ. I just don't know where. All right, good luck, everybody. We got the cereals on uh, right up there. Uh, let's see what we can find. We've got something interesting down here. We'll get to it last. Which one is our base pile? Um, it's looking like this is the only one that's straight up a base pile. Everything else got a little, uh, evenly distributed. Best of luck, everybody. We're gonna try to find the little stragglers of foils. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got Eye of the Dragon. D2 going to the number two spot, JDA. With that dragon's eye. Listen to Imagine Dragons. Ah ha ha. Can you imagine dragon? Not going to finish the joke because I just realized there's a red foil in the next handful. I thought we were going to have one more one or one more hidden in there, but it's okay. We've got the red right here. Of Lord Lionel Strong in the red 27 out of 50 on that one going to the seventh spot ash 
On the number seven spot, lucky number seven. On Lord Strong. Let's see if there's anything else hidden in the base one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Trying to make sure I don't skip any golds. For some reason, the golds go right past me pretty often. Y'all are sharp, though. You let me know whenever it does happen. And absolute worst case, not that it'll get to that, but we have a very, very sharp sorting team. Yeah, none of these are, like, straight-up base piles. So we're just going to go straight to this one. I see... I thought I saw Thickums. I'm just going to grab this as the handful, then. I thought we had a Thickums. Okay. Let's see what we're looking in here. Is this one a base pile? Did I accidentally just grab a base pile without even noticing it? I guess so. We're still going to go not super quick, because I did not think this one was a base pile. Wow, it is. We just have a couple of the, uh, the thick cards bundled in here. Still going to go around the same pace, make sure we don't skip anything. Alrighty, and oh my goodness, this, okay, that's a patch. From her costume, used on set, look at the gold chainmail, dude. That is wild. That is wild. On Rhaenyra Targaryen's chainmail. I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've seen this as the patch, right? Or the costume relic. You know, like half a chat on the edge of their seat right now, yelling at me to flip the card around. Can you imagine if I just left it and I say, we'll reveal at the end of the break? I'm not going to do that to you guys. What is it? RC16 going to the sixth spot. Honda. Honda. On the six, getting like the chainmail. This is the first time we've seen this as a piece of the costume. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. No, nah, I'm not going to do that to you guys. I've heard about the uh, infamous Dax Sweat. Sounds like I said back sweat. King's Landing on the location L1 for Pure 1. Pure 1 in the 1 spot. That's a 1 in the 1. House Targaryen on the metal reflective card. Or not, not metal card, but you know what I mean. The super foily. HR1 going to Pure 1. And we'll do another handful right here. I think we're going to have... Yep. Let's have some fun. No, it's a really nice piece, Honda. Really, really nice one. Grats on that one. We have another... Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen an Alice at Hightower with red on it. I'm so used to all of her patches or costumes either being in green hues or... I want to say like a dark, like almost black hue. So seeing this in red, that's a first for me to see. With the gold and the red, there's really just so much like love put into these costumes. Like it's, you really get to appreciate the costumes through these relics. RC9 going to Music's Brother on the Lady Alice at Hightower. Costume patch. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. We got one more at the top here when it comes to our patches. I think the rest are all going to be in uh, the other pile. Ooh. King Viserys Targaryen. 
It's his nightwear. He's wearing his pajamas. He said, I lost everything. I'm going to wear my pajamas and I'm going to play with my little city. Cool looking one. Cool looking one. We got one on that one. Pure one. From the cost of material. All right, let's see some other cards. We haven't seen too many of them because the first two piles were the base piles. We got Driftmark on the location L4 going to the four spot. Honda. We couldn't get a green looking card out of uh, Avengers, so we got one here in High or High Tower House High Tower. Wow, why is it so hard for me to say? H6 to Honda on House High Tower. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Sonoya Mizuno as our first auto of the break. So we'll go to the number one spot on the random for the end of the break. That's a cool auto to hit right there. Here we got Val Valerian and Targaryen. That one is R2. No, D2. That's going to a two spot. JD8. The Rogue Prince. I haven't seen this one in a very long time. Off of the JJ OG Arts. JJ2 going to JD8. That was a really cool one. I know you can get those ones with the artist autos and numbered. Sick hits if you do get those. Honda with the <laughs> heart eye emojis off of Sonoya's auto. Feeding the crabs. AR3 going to David Trang. Victim of the crab feeder. Well, that's the thing that keeps the egg warm. AR-16 going to the sixth spot. Honda. We got a gold foil. King of the narrow sea. Going to the 10 spot. JDA in the 10. Oh. Very nice on the poster. CG3 going to the number three spot. Post time skip on Rhaenyra. Number three going to David Trang. Music's brother wants to see a sketch. I would love to see a sketch. We gotta add it to the wall. And that's a checklist. We're going to do some casing and sleeving, and then we'll get to this pile here. JD said, sketch time. You know, now that you mentioned it, it has been a minute since we've seen a sketch out of House of the Dragon. Speaking of sketches, a reminder to everyone, out of Star Wars Delight... I've been told each case holds a pretty decent number of sketches. I have a feeling we open one or two more and we're going to see a sketch or two come out of that. Those Star Wars sketches are sick nasty. The Mandalorian one that we hit in the gold foil yesterday had me freaking out. Where's Jax? He's going to be on the main channel. Oh, Darth Vader's sketch is going to be actually uh, not okay, dude. Could you imagine? <laughs> so I'm going to pass out at their computer off of that. Scott's on main, so that, I don't know where he's at. JD said he might cry. Yeah, somebody's going to, a lot of people are going to be not okay seeing that.
Alrighty. We should have some more of the, the hit type cards in here. Like the inserts and whatnot, maybe, perhaps. There's one. We got a Dragon's Eye. That one's Cyrax. Numbered to one, going to the one spot. Pure one. Oh, we got a couple of these canvas cards in here. Another dragon. Sea Smoke on number 18, going to pure one. Got a gold foil of Lord Larry Strong. Going to the 10 spot on 40. 10 going to JD8. We got a poster of Lord Cor Corlys. I always, I'm so bad at with saying his name. I know Valerian. Corlys? Corlys? I had it yesterday, I had it earlier today, and then I forgot it. Number seven going to Ash. Corlys. I think that's how it was. It was a Corlys. I of the Dragon. D8 going to the eight spot. Pure one. Oh, another patch. Does that add up? I think it adds up. We had one sneak into the other side of the box. We've got Larry Strong and Alicent R7 going to the number seven spot. Ash. Driftmark on the JJ. JJ7 going to Ash. That one's pretty cool. Jefferson Hall on the auto as our second auto of the break. It's kind of like getting a two-for-one shrimp combo, you know what I mean? He plays both the twins, but this is specifically him as Lord Jason Lannister. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what Barrett's on. I'm curious if Barrett's joining uh, Kefa and Battle, which we haven't heard from either of them in a minute. Hope they're okay. Here we go. Lord Lionel Strong. Wow, I like the the blue hues on that patch. Camera's not picking up too much. It's kind of a very dark, but it is a nice navy blue in person. Oh, you can kind of see it right there at the light. Music saying they're straight up bombed. Last break might have the inscription. RC18 going to Pure One Sports. For Lord Lionel Strong. All right, let's see what's going on in this. I don't know what it is, but it, it came top loaded, or it came penny sleeved. Oh my goodness, guys, that's a sketch. That's a sketch. Are you kidding me? When you get really close, you can see the line work. But like from afar, it, I, I did not think it was a sketch. That is some insane artwork right there on the dragon. Is that sea smoke? That is a crazy, crazy looking sketch, man. Sketch effects. That is a very, very beautiful sketch. I, I, I am blown away. For them to also do it sideways so you get a lot more real estate of the card. That is a beautiful card. I'm I'm in I'm in awe.
There's Michio. There's Michio. That, that that's a crazy, crazy looking sketch. I need to take a picture of it. <laughs> Michio said, "I want that." Very, very beautiful sketch. Holy cow. Yeah, the fact that we have to random it, man. It's also cool on the back where the artist signed, there's some paint smudges just because. I'm going to give you a new sleeve because that one's very, very. Uh... The factory rollers and everything kind of dented the edges. I'm going to keep everything fresh and clean for you guys here. Beautiful card. That's one, like, they have card frames that you can buy where they're little frames the size of cards. You're going to get this in one of those for sure. Beautiful. That's going to be in the number three spot. My gosh. For that to be something that gets random. Holy cow. All right, we got a poster. There's the three dragons. I'm going to assume that one is Sea Smoke. No one confirmed if that's Sea, sm or sea Smoke or not. We're gonna do some casing sleeving. We'll hit the random and then we'll do the recap right after that. I'm scared to do the random. How many people total do we have participating in this one? Five? We're gonna have one happy soul. Well, no. I mean, you still hit any of the other autos. It's still pretty cool, but for sure. Everyone's looking at the number three spot right now off of the random and I know it. Yeah, I never wanted to land number three in a randomizer so bad. This is gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna be heartbroken, man. I know all you guys that love Game of Thrones are looking at this, knowing you gotta get the number three spot for that. I'm gonna try to, my best to be uh, straight faced the entire time. Because no matter if it's a, no matter if any of you hit the three spot, it's gonna be painful. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sketch card. Breathtaking, man. That's why we got to love the pop channel. Where else are you going to get sketches out of Star Wars, Marvel, House of the Dragon? It's so good. Mitchell said, I got to get me some of that. Alrighty. Let me pull up the random real quick. Wishing everyone the absolute best of luck. Just to recap, the number one spot's going to be getting an auto from Sonia Mizuno. And number two, we'll be getting an auto from Jefferson Hall. And the number three, we'll be getting this one of one artist sketch. Oh my god. Here we go. Best of luck. Everyone's on the edge of their seat. We got seven. Lucky number seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. There's seven times on the roll, seven times on the die. Ash getting the Sonia or Sonoya. I always want to say Sonia because I read it with the dyslexic brain that I have. Pure One Sports with Jefferson Hall and Music's Brother with the
the sketch. I'm going to write this all down before we do the recap. The sketch is signed vintage. It's on the back right there. There's the artist sketch. It's a genuine 101. It's drawn on the card. I'm holding them upside down. There we go. I mean, it's it's such a beautiful, beautiful card. Massive grats to Music's brother on this one, man. Definitely going to be filled out for a Beat the Sorts. Unless you're going to grade it. I don't know how, uh, how grading goes when it comes to sketches. Now, how's the drag? Like, this is such a good set. This is such a wonderful set. Let me make sure all of these randomed cards are labeled correctly so that the sorters and the shipping team are able to get these out to you and A speedy time. And then we have Honda. All right, we have Pure One Sports with the Jefferson Hall. Or just beat the sword. It's up to you. You let me know, music's brother. Do we have any boxes left? Yeah, there's personals on Instagram. If you want to do group breaks on here, we're doing it by the cereal. We do have some on the store right now, Leopard King. Is this your first time with the Blaze? Or is this your first time in the pop room? I'm actually going to list more right after we do the recap here because House of the Dragon is looking like it's sold out. They're backed up with Chrome. Still waiting for the Wemby. He said, all right, I'll grade it. He said, all right, fine. We have a recap coming up. 31's getting listed right now, because I see 30's actually really close. I think Marvel Avengers is sold out. Oh, Undercard is sold out. That's exciting. Let me get this with a beat the sort on the back of it. Mark it for grading it. Awesome hit on the sketch, man. Very exciting. is 29 yeah undercards sold out undercards next you guys WWE undercards going to be next alrighty I stalled out this recap long enough here we go Here's a recap. We got some posters. Followed that, that. Love the artwork. We have the red numbered to 50. We got 27 on this one. We got our inserts. The gold foil snuck its way in there. A couple more inserts. We got a patch. Lord Lionel Strong, King Viserys Targaryen, Lady Alicent Hightower, and Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. This one's really cool with the chain mail. I forgot about that one. My goodness. Had the auto of Sonoya. Had the auto of Jefferson Hall. And I don't have to say anything about this one. No words need to be spoken about this. It is beautiful. My goodness. 
Thank you guys all so much for that break. That was 2024 Game of Thrones House of the Dragon Season 1, two box random serial number 29. 30 and 31 have made their way into the shop. Oh, now we've got some undercard.